Chess friends, how are you? Today I played Magnus Carlsen Gambit, switching the king and queen places by legal moves against chess.com maximum engine. Thousands of candles can be lighted from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared, so let's go, I started the game with c3, it's not Karo can defense, you know I want to bring my queen to a4 which I did in the game, f3 and I will replace the king and queen position, we have e5 f3, knight c6 king to d1, I want to play Magnus Gambit here, therefore maximum engine will develop his pieces simply, d5 queen h4 bishop e7, he can strike the center with d4 and his bishop is lasering my queen, queen to e1 and it is called Magnus Gambit. It's a very risky opening so you should play it carefully, I am the leader of chess grandmasters, so I know how to play it perfectly, first of all c3 and f3 move creates some weakness in my position, we have bishop e6, d4 may come so I played e3 to protect that square, knight h3 was a reasonable choice but I will play knight e2, my small pawn center is defending my position as well, he pushed the d-pawn, but he can't take none of these pawn, which is why I pushed the pawn to d3. Opening up the dark square bishop and guarding the pawn from knight, castle knight to h3, think at least two times that you can't take knight because the g-file will be open for my rook, so h5 to protect that square from knight entry where the knight might attack the bishop, we have pawn exchanges on center, knight f4 to target the bishop and the pawn will be in backward position, rook will get the unusual file because this structure is not suitable for black rook. Bishop d4 and this is coming to weakening my d-pawn so I closed the center with e4, whenever you get a weak position or weak pieces combination then you can close the position, so black can not able to enter your territory, this pawn creating problems in my center so my idea is to push the queen side pawns, and attack to the black pawn structure, we have knight e5, maximum declared that he will push his long side army to attack my king, so I played h4 first. g5 is coming to make some problems in king side, he played c5 too, he will push his queen side pawns to attack on my king side, knight d2 bishop, d6 knight c4 to target it, so we have knight exchanges on c4 square, queen c7 to make a queen bishop, battery to target the knight, I played queen d2 to protect it, if you take it then after doing big exchanges in the f4 square, the position will be totally equal because now my king isn't in danger, so back to the position. We have rook e8 to make pressure on this file, g4 with the idea of playing bishop, d3 to activate the bishop on this diagonal, g4 will come to kick out the knight and I need to open up the h file to start attacks in king side, we have queen b6 and here, if you play any normal kind of move for example, rook g1, with the idea of g5 to open up the g file. Then black will sacrifice his knight by capturing the pawn, pawn takes rook takes e4 do target the knight with bishop, you may play knight d5 then black will play bishop a4 check, king have no square to run so b3, he will sacrifice his another material on b3, takes queen takes check queen blocks, the queen is pinned and you know what, what should black play now. He will sacrifice the rook on e1, since the queen is unguarded so the king have to protect the queen, king ups bishop f4 check, so after king takes rook you will lose your queen, the king is in super danger and bishop takes bishop isn't possible because of rook e8 check and it will be a mate on e2 square with queen and rook, game will be over so back to the position, we have bishop d3. Queen c6 to target the pawn with knight and they are also targeting to my structure because my king isn't in safe place, so I played rook g1 knight h7, what a damn looking move, the knight have no square to go, maybe he wants to get rid from g5, which is why he moved back his knight, b5 was the best move to consider, rook b8 would be a good choice to play, so I get a chance to play knight d5, looks like the game is very easy, but it's not so easy as you see, it's not like Gothenchis. It's a computer chess game, try to learn from my videos because education is not the learning of the facts, but the training of the mind to think, g4 is a threat so he played bishop e7 to protect the diagonal, but it's not the correct move so I get an another opportunity to fall him in trouble with g5, h5 was the best move to close the structure, but he takes the pawn, pawn takes and you should not take the pawn, because after doing minor pieces exchanges on g5. The file will be totally open and knight f6 will be a permanent threat to the knight, 
bishop have an open diagonal and the another rook can come to the g-file to add pressure to the king, so we have queen e6 king c2, rook h1 and queen h2 is an incoming attack to the h-file so we have queen h3 to target the pawn, queen f2, here best move for black is to play f5 to open up the file, let me show you the variation, best move for white to move back the bishop to kick out the queen. But if you take the pawn then after doing pieces exchanges, the king will be totally exposed, which means that black can give millions of threat to the king, position will be very bad for white but in our actual game, he moved back his queen to h6, rook h1 to target the knight by playing e5, queen g6, queen h2 to add pressure to the knight, bishop p6 bishop goes to f4, this targets to this bishop, and look at this black position. His position is completely restricted and none of his pieces can move frequently, the knight can't move, the queen have no square to go, we have bishop e7 rook g1, involving another piece to attack, a6 knight f6, I sacrificed the knight, you cannot take the knight because of this, so we have bishop takes, g takes bishop, rook up to e6, e5 to get this diagonal. We have bishop check king c1 and he sacrificed his queen, rook takes g4 and this is coming, and playing g6 wouldn't help you because of rook h1 and you will be dead lost, that's why we have knight takes f6, takes, g6, queen h6 rook takes pawn rook here, b5 queen h7 check and mate, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.